Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly and today I want to talk to you about having asthma in the military. Now, having asthma sucks. Getting old in the military sucks. Being in your 50s and struggling with these guys in their 20s to try and do PT sucks. Um, joints ache, muscles ache, everything aches. Uh, but um, my story is about two years ago when I first got into Germany, I started having these breathing issues. And I couldn't mow my yard, I, I was struggling to do any form of exercise. And so I went to the doctor first, I thought they thought it might be my heart. So they did a battery test at cardiology and gave me a clean bill of health. And then they shoot me over to pulmonology, which uh, after doing the spirometry test, the breathing test, found out that I have restrictive lung disease and exercise induced asthma. And so with those diagnoses, um, I was facing a, you know, a whole barrage of uh, steroids and a barrage of different types of pills and treatments to kind of open up my lungs, and including the rescue inhalers. Finally, they got to the point where they had to do uh, monthly injections of test fire, uh, which is a very costly um, injection to take, a biologic. So according to Army regulations, uh, that knocks you out of military service. So I'm facing... Uh, a med board soon and hopefully I'll be able to get a good rating out of that uh, and have some disability uh, and then I have to find out what I'm going to do next uh, maybe the VA uh, as a therapist who knows uh, but you know when you do have a disease in the military sometimes and some diseases and some things will knock you out of military service it's just like if you had type 2 diabetes and you have to take insulin Generally, if you're doing, if you're taking insulin, you're going to be uh, been boarded out of the military. Uh, they want you to be readily deployable and to be able to go anywhere in any austere situation or location in combat. And if you're taking an injection or you're taking some kind of treatment that requires a, a, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of medication, generally they that knocks you out of military service. You have to be deployable. That's the key thing. And according to your MOS and your job, it also depends. But my MOS being a chaplain, the family life chaplain for Garrison, I do a lot of counseling all day long. And then I'm also in charge of a chapel service. So it's and I'm very, very busy. But still, it's very hard for me to do any form of PT. And I, I struggle at that. It's very hard to even go up my stairs. So uh, having asthma in the military sucks. But I do know uh, that TRICARE and the army system and the hospital system has been taking care of me uh, and they've been doing everything that they can and i have a good great pulmonologist uh, he's excellent and, and i can't recommend him enough but i can't should not give his name out on this video but when you are facing those types of diseases in the military and you may be facing what i'm going through in the military you may have unfortunately maybe you have cancer or maybe you have uh, diabetes. Maybe you're having uh, asthmatic conditions which require in monthly injections or whatever the illness is. Uh, you're, you may be facing that med board process and it's not necessarily what you want, but it's what's being given to you. You know, and I pray that God's blessing will be upon you and that God's blessing will be there for you to open up those doors of opportunity because the army is going to keep rolling along. It's just going to keep on going and you got to sometimes jump off and know when to jump off uh, to be able to take care of yourself. And so this is an encouragement to you. You know, focus on your health. Focus on what you need to do to get better. And I pray that God's healing will be upon your life and that you will uh, be touched in a powerful way by God for healing and for wholeness, but also for those doors of opportunity to open up. Uh, because I may end up at the VA as a therapist or some counseling center or private practice. Who knows where I may end up? But I pray that those doors will open up for you and realize, even though you may be going through a depressive state and you maybe don't know what to do because your career is ending, uh, I just want to give you encouragement. Because no matter what happens in life, there are always opportunities, open doors for you to walk through. So this is an encouragement for you. Yeah, your illness sucks. Whatever you're going through sucks. And whatever you're suffering and pain and agony that you're going through sucks. But there is hope. There is a way. 
And God, I pray, will show you that way and give you your heart's desire. So please subscribe, like, and share this video. And I pray that it will be touched and used in a powerful way. And I pray it touches you in a powerful way. God bless.